Welcome to the Bear Bryant Show. We're glad you could join our review of the exciting action of your University of Alabama's Crimson Tide football. The Bear Bryant Show is brought to you by your local Coca-Cola bottler. Have a Coke and a smile. Golden Flake snacks that taste as good as gold. And Central Bank, across Alabama, all the bank you'll ever need. Now let's take a look at this week's game, Alabama versus Kentucky. With comments by Coach Paul Bear Bryant and me, Charlie Thornton. Once again, for the Bear Bryant Show, brought to you by Ice Cold Coca-Cola, by Central Bank, and by Golden Flake. Today you have to pay a trip to get them out. And that cold weather up there kind of gave me a little cold yesterday. Well, it was cold in some places, Charlie. That was it wasn't. And anyway, uh, first thing, I want to get back to saying my usual thing I used to say all the time. I'm real proud of the team for winning and real happy that they won. And... Uh, I won't say we were lucky. I'm I think we learned something. I think they proved themselves they could win when they had to. As a matter of fact, when we got there, and uh, I expected Kentucky to be all fired up. They were a little better football team than I thought they were. They were fired up. They were hit well. Uh, I mean, Coach Kirsch had a real fine game plan for what we'd been doing. And uh, I thought they ran the game well. And uh, over and over, while we were just kind of... Uh, yeah, I think we had effort uh, that we were kind of frustrated out fit and uh, giving them things. And we helped them a lot by, by giving them, uh, you know, we could put it away early, uh, but we fumbled. Like, they forced us to fumble, and uh, apparently uh, they, we forced us to because of poor training and I was ready to admit that. But we had big plays. We had uh, big plays in the right in the clutch, and uh, four of them were field goals. And we'd say, well, but those four players, we had to have a perfection, although we weren't, we didn't take them as seriously as I thought we might because we had people close. But we have a son of snapping the ball back, this guy has to be perfect, the hole has to be perfect, and the kicker. And one of us into the win, and of course, and uh, the big one was into the win, and it put us out in front. And we also had a couple other big plays. Uh, the third down, late in the game, you'll see where. Cody was tackled and he ducked on the people and ran about seven yards. And another time on third down, we had to have it while uh, Walter Lewis completed pass out to Mark Nix uh, for the big third down. And according to this Charlie, we had to on fourth down four different times. We had to, we went for it and, and made it. On the other hand, we did a lot of things poorly. We still grabbed it and we still swam and we still uh, not beat anyone really physically. You know, we go to them and hit them and go to the ground instead of going to them and through them. Uh, we're just doing, uh, we don't, we're not doing things well as a team. I think, however, and I thought this last week in practice, that our, our young people are improving. I, uh, I think they're getting better. No one will ever know how badly crippled we've been. If the more you talk about it, the more they say, oh, you have to talk to them. We've been badly crippled, and we were badly crippled up there. So we got through it with the help of the good Lord, and uh, there's a lot of good players. And uh, maybe now we can get our cripples back and we can just continue doing some of the things that we're doing and start doing some things that we need to do so we can have a good team. Uh, it was a great win. It was a great win of the Commerce game for Kentucky, and uh, I know how much they wanted to win because I, I lived there for um, eight years, and, and uh, they were really fired up and hitting us. And but uh, there again, that's good for us. That's what the game is all about. Uh, it was a real fine ride back last night. We were home by six o'clock. I walked and getting my exercise, and where it could have been was about coming from Hawaii or someplace if we lost the game. But anyway, uh, we got so many things, little things that that. Uh, Coaching can take care of, I think, uh, that uh, we haven't. And the main thing is getting the people back and getting the, getting the eyes and mind on the goal that they set for themselves and for the team and get the team together more as, as a unit instead of having a team going and one making the mistake or this, that, and the other. And try to win football, they try to beat somebody and uh, instead of playing the game. I don't think we've really beaten anybody physically yet. We haven't. Uh, we have to acknowledge that. We don't have any 
play with me is they're very many big, strong people. But you know, business is in the heart, really. And uh, we got, if we get, you know, aggressive enough, uh, hopefully we'll get more aggressive. We tiptoe on some things, say we'll do something wrong, or this, that, and the other. And that's not the way they have football team. But now, in 13, they can do it when they have to have it. They may, maybe we'll come along and hopefully we'll improve. And we better improve. For Vanderbilt, I think this is great. We'll talk about it later. Vanderbilt has a good football team now, and I'm glad they do, because I think they need lots of conference. They need lots of them to improve. The facilities up there, they've got better football players, and they can be seen. And we've got Ole Miss the next week, and uh, uh, getting uh, John Foster back and getting him back in Jason. And the best thing we play for a while is uh, Mississippi State, Mississippi Southern. I'll tell the camera. Uh, don't forget that. I think we still have a few tickets. There. I'm not trying to sell tickets. Yeah, I'm trying to sell them. I'm not saying it for that. But anyway, back to Kentucky, my old home state, uh, where I used to be. And let's get started. So we lost the toss, but we won the toss again. That's always. Of course, I like we'll to lose the toss. We'll be back for the first oh, quarter man. following these messages from our sponsors. Enjoy the colors of spring all year round by decorating your table with elegant stoneware from Central Bank. Choose from two exquisite patterns and completer pieces. Combining the gracious, elegant look of fine bone china and the oven, microwave, and dishwasher-proof durability of today's stoneware. We're serving up savings. So come by Central and get something extra for yourself. Exquisite stoneware for savers. Another good reason to bank at Central. Member FDIC. Oh, what a gift. Looks like another dead end, Clem. Wait just a tad, please, Billy. What's this? Golden flake cheese nuggets. Gold? Gold. Jimmy, it won't mine. No matter how long you search, you won't find a fresher, crisper, lighter taste than golden flake cheese nuggets. That's what is gold. Chilly up there, just like for football. The only thing about it is we had a real strong wind. And I hate a wind. I'd rather have rain. We won the toss, shows the receive. We run the ball out. That's still caught a running with the ball. We fumble it there, opening thing. That's where we start the game. That's not what I don't recommend that. And they went after it a little harder than we did. So they have the ball on our 20 now to start with. They give us two wide outs to start with. Bobby Jones and uh, Eddie Lowe both in on the stop. Just one yard game. Yeah, we're in a three man line, a disguise three. They did a pretty good job pulling people. They throw this time. We got back there. When we went after them, uh, we got back there pretty well, particularly our in people, people from the outside. Sounds a big defensive play. Jackie Klein gets back for a nine yard sack. Real big play from Jackie Klein. Now they go with a field goal now. That field goal kicker, that's the point kicker, Griggs. His father was the captain of one of the teams I had up there. We have a flank to the left here. We run the sweep. It's kind of a slant, it looks like. And boy, they put the wood on you. Jeff Fagan. Jeff Fagan running with the football. That's three yards. Well, I put it back Collins running with the ball in. We came off the ball pretty well. Our line's coming off the ball pretty well. It was, some things we're not doing as well. It came off very well then. We don't pull around well. We don't do some of the things we do a lot of work on. We don't make the first down. Some of this kicking, Hoka snapped her back. We do a real poor job, and they do a good job on this punt. We get blocked. We're not in a football position. He does a fine job of running. And somebody's not trying to get the ball either very much. Kentucky football again. It's got kind of a sparring match here for a while. I see Mike it. Pitts back there. They didn't slow him down. Mike does a good job when he gives him something he can do. He has to do things sometimes he can't do. I think he's a good football player. They run the sweep here. And Robbie Jones comes. Robbie Jones makes a real fine play. Lost the one. Pitts stuck it and uh, hung him up there a little on the blocking and. That's the came up from the outside. They went in a shotgun here and kind of ran a semi-hoop here and was going to run a lateral off of it. I don't know whether it was legal or not. 
in the ball made the hit, it knocked the ball loose. They call it a fumble or what? Yes, sir. They call it a fumble recovered by Let's kick Little Joy Jones. It's overworked. If that looked like a face mask, but I'm sure it wasn't because this was right there. Double wing back, man in motion. We lost our full back, but we get nothing practically. Jim Cole is a quarterback. They have a full option kill dead then. They just defense it well and whipped us. We ride out. We pull away then and recover the football for law. That victory falls on it. Well, they're fortunate there. Very lucky. Almost gave it right back to him. Chris, I thought Malcolm Simmons punted well, particularly in that wind. Yeah, wind. Well, with the wind, uh, he did a good job punting all day, I thought. Little Joey Jones played an awful lot, but I don't want to give him a... more and maybe next day off. He needs some rest. They're spreading out now, putting both ends out, put them flanking, let them sit back, feel the eye formation, anything you want. And they'll come back with a full house. We're going to nickel these things here, we call it. And they get outside. We don't put the shoulder to them much. We grab him. We're the best grabbers in the world. And let's hug a lot. I'll help you grab him. You see when I was young. Yeah, real fine coverage there. They had to look like the entire team was down. I remember it's a game and got up on our eight yard line. They can get five. They can get five on the count of pull back eight years where the mouth to. Paul Cruz running with the ball in. They're after us. They're hitting us well. Now watch our line. It comes off the ball well though. That secondary is coming up there that's the pass. He saw a running pass after a while and he's open. Looks like he's out to practice early. Now come someone's kicking. He don't do a good job covering that kick. He's been pretty fortunate. He get out and walk the phone all around over people. Real fine defensive play then. Russ Wood was the first contact. Top of suit, did well then. They passed us. Jenkins is a passing quarterback. He played against us last year. We have a three-man rush here, and they get outside of it, and he throws it. Then he starts to contain him with a three-man rush. That was a tip. It wasn't a tip. Tommy Wilcox had it broken up, I think, and he bounced in the pitcher's arm. So we have the ball now. Wing back to the left. Ricky Moore. Ricky Moore, freshman running with the football. We played to three or four freshmen yesterday, three, I think, maybe four. Coley did. Coley back to throw. He took a long stride then we hit him. Joy Jones, the Mobile Alabama made the reception. Frank to the left this time. It comes to option about two yards apart. Jeff Fagan is hemmed up over there, Jeff. Fort Lauderdale. Our line moved off the ball well then, Charlie. So Ricky Moore gets five up the middle. But they had a fumble. Yep, they had a hard on, and he had the execution then. Fullback, quarterback, to fullback. That happened. Well, actually, Ricky had had as much. Now, in the cross, they hit him two or three times. When a man comes off the line of stem, he's running by linebackers. He's a blocker. He's a potential blocker. And then two or three times they came. They had a real fine interception by Eddie Lowe. Somebody had to have some pressure on him back there. They intercepted. We had a chance to go again. Uh, they in made a fine play there. They made an excellent play. He just flattened the blocker out and made the tackle. Ricky Nelson on the tap play to pick up some yardage. Ricky Moore running with the ball. It's Jeff Fagan running through there this time. When we run, ran straight at him, we did pretty well. They really had the veer of defense well. And then they come up with a big play. You run at him, you run at him, the they make a big play. Or we would stop ourselves. That was a better play then. 
Joe Carter running with the football, picked up a couple of yards, and according in, zip to zip, Alabama and KY. Now, you don't have to lock up your money for six months or longer to get double-digit interest. With Central Bank's Easy Access Investment, you can get your money anytime from 30 to 89 days. Recently, this investment has paid up to 15% on as little as $1,000. So call or come by your nearest central bank and ask for the current rate and more details. Don't lock up your money. Stay short with Central's Easy Access Investment. Uh, yesterday after the game, I know that several former governors, I'm not sure how many of Kentucky came by to see you, and a, a gentleman named Ace Dawson, it was a... Well, I, uh, we, I saw several people in Georgia. First of all, Dr. Rose, who hired me here Kentucky, came by, and to enjoy that nice day with Dr. Rose, and the boy looks well. And Dr. Thomas came by, we appreciated that. And uh, we arrived uh, Friday night, uh, Dr. Andy Lucy. I learned something I didn't know. He lived across the street for me there, and a close friend of ours, he's on the board there. Well, I had an appendectomy up there, and uh, one year we came to LSU, and that two people went out and lost the game like they did, they might have won it. The doctor, my grandson McClain, my good brother, was going to be taking over and operate on it. I didn't know it. And Dr. Dan Lucy was brain surgery. And he was in there, and uh, as he put me to sleep, he told me the other night for the first time uh, that, that, that Dr. McClain was going to say, uh, well, he'd be the operation. <laughs> And he operated on me. <laughs> I didn't know that, but anyway, I was glad to see him. And uh, talking about the governor's with Governor Hatfield Chandler, he's a former governor, he's Commissioner of Baseball. And it's a funny, not a funny thing, but today he was fired from Commissioner of Baseball. Don Hudson now was playing golf with him down outside of Fort Lauderdale with one of those fancy golf clubs, and he was notified him that night. I had a nice day with Governor Chandler and Governor Lawrence Weatherby, who was my warm friend up there. As a matter of fact, I'm the only coach I guess ever had a a room at the governor's house when he was there, and I used it too quite often, my all and I, but they came by and Helen, and we glad to see them, and um, I'm glad to see anybody after getting by that, that getting out of there alive, if you call that getting out alive. But we had, uh, I saw some other people I talked about down the line, oh, you're talking about Ace Dawson. Ace was president of the Alumni Association, the day I resigned, he came over the house that night, and we, we spent the night crying. I'd cry a while, and he'd cry a while. And uh, he had a business in Birmingham, construction business, in a big business. Uh, he's been a great friend of mine for many, many years. And, uh, we better get back to the second quarter here, well, and see if maybe we can get a field goal. Quarter, right. <laughs> Alabama ball on the third and one on the 33. I heard that third down conversion in the second half was pretty good. Uh, you had them in that shot. I am on wait. I left them home and give them to the squad. Well, there's a the quarterback. He rolled out on the pass, and something happened to him. He couldn't get rid of the football, or maybe he just brought it down. We had two. That's the way it should be. We had several passes called. We didn't get the ball off. We had a couple of calls, a few completions. Jeff Fagan running in. Jeff running on Beasley and Third and one. Adcock over there. Third and one, we make it here. Joe Carter makes it. He's running now behind uh, Victor and Kiviak and Bart Crouch. Jeff Birmingham. Their linebacker came in, cornerback, and made a good hit then on Joe Carter. Waller Lewis is booting on the football. They are in and a hard. He's front row pitches out to Fagan, and he doesn't have a chance. They're really coming. Third and ten now. Fifteen. Pick up another pass, run option pass, and he, he gets going for a loss. We don't do any blocking on that. Don't give Walter a chance. So go with the field goal. Pull back 
Holcomb is snapping his back. Alan Gray is holding it. Peter Kim, he looks up to him, but he got his feet anyway. A 37-yard field goal by Peter Kim. Peter Kim from Honolulu, he's winning from Korea. Had a brother in Honolulu. Jerry Sanders. Jerry Sanders. Uh, he kicked off, every time he kicks off with the win, he kicks it out of the field of play. And the time it's the, the covered it, he's trying to make what we call a safe kick and got it up in the wind and stopped it. And Stan Gray came down with it. Kentucky ball now with well, a three point lead. Well, we got a man knocked out of his back then. I'm not going to call it me. That happened to me in the Rose Bowl a couple of times. I threw it in like I was hoping nobody would see it. Tom Wilcox, he had a halfback bitch on, as long as they could get to him. Tom Wilcox came in. Yes, his plan came up with the recovery for Alabama. So we had the ball ready to go here, as places go, but we had a lot of leakage to there. Mark Nix was running with the football. Lyon came off the ball well then. Mickey Ginyard on his first time. Mickey Ginyard made a nice run then. He had both hands on the football down there where it was six. He was freshman. They played the trap well then. We didn't execute it well, though. The line came off the ball well again. That's Ken Simon running with the football. He had been here again. He only played a little bit. Paul Carew. Just initiated pretty well. Those you blue jerseys. Third down again. Holcomb stopped in the back. Gray's holding. The entire line is blocking. 25-yard field goal attempt by Peter Ken. Mm-hmm. And Peter kicked it through. That makes it six to nothing. We were, we were, that's not very much. You go all that time and move the ball that well and only get six points. Chris Sanders kicks off again. Out of the field of play. I remember one kick off Willie Shelby handled back there, Charlie. I'm not saying in with that. I remember Gary Evanson. We so had two blocks there made. They ran off tackle on us there. just like coming out to practice. Just get it. Big Florence made the tackle. Come back again. Big Florence is a freshman. Scott Holman helped pull him down that way. Scott Holman is a junior. Mel caught in the end. Now, there comes the trap play. That's good. Knocked him down. We had a gentleman miss a tackle there. Don't miss him in here. Mm-hmm. That's penetration in. Fine defensive play by Alabama. The entire group is back there then. Jimmy Watts was the most prominent member of the camera. The outside, and we don't, that's good running there. I think the Al Blue, that Al Blue is trying to make the hits there. Al Blue from Orlando. That end was behind us then. The ball was on the throne and broke it up. They have two wide outs again. They try a screen pass here. One and Lyle was standing there. He blocked when he was standing there. He wasn't looking for the screen, I don't think. Tommy I mean, Wilcox. Real the fine play with Tommy. He had a great effort to get to the football. So they have to punt. Oh, Jeremiah Castile handled the punt then. You see, we happen them wrong. They get a little more grip every play. It's nice and cool. The wind's blowing. We run the circle here. They force us in the circle and almost kill Coley. Kill Coley. we in Birmingham. Blue shirts from Kentucky. I remember the first time we had those blue shirts on. Then another poor execution again. We got to expect every play for them to come hard. Our protection for the punt wasn't all that good then. Real fine effort there, but a man went out and flagged that. He didn't have to been great. Jay Gogan was the one that made the tackle. We tell you we're under trap play here. Eddie Lowe among the those in on the tackle. Eddie and Robinson had a lot of title, and uh, Booker had some good hits, too. I think that Booker just missed that man. Yeah, well. Well. Well, some of my former players came by after game. I didn't uh, find quarterback play there. That wasn't a call play. 
That's some formation that kicks it. It goes out of bounds over here. Emmett Clark, who was a great player for us, little Emmett Clark from Carlisle, Kentucky. He graduated from Auburn. I mean, in Britain uh, and Madison. Came by. This has sort of been a, this is a fast option. They had us covered and had us stop to the waiting on the man. Walker got seven on it. They're not very friendly now. Kentucky's getting, getting hard. It's in with Clark. I remember making a 70 yard run against us in the 70 yard run against Georgia one time. He went to Auburn, got his. Back in there, Madison G. Daddy was a friend of mine. He's still doing well. It's Carlisle, Kentucky. I'm not mistaken. That's where I'm going to have any wife. So good coverage then by Alabama. We had all our players down there. The waves down there then. All American race to well came by the scene. He's one of the richest men, I guess, in Kentucky now. So in the last, Alabama six, Kentucky zip. And thus I bequeath my mansion, my automobiles, my stocks and bonds, and all my gold to my third cousin, Angela. Angela? Who has always shown exceptionally good taste. Golden Flake Corn Chips. The fresh, crisp, golden light taste your family will treasure. Golden Flake. Good as gold. Come on, smile. Two years in the city isn't going to change her. Welcome uh, some new stations or cable systems to the Bear Bryant Show this weekend. The Op Cable System in Op, Alabama, the Cox Cable System in Macon, Georgia, and the Salmons Cable System in Linnell, Alabama. Uh, so welcome to some new viewers that maybe haven't been able to see us in the past. I'd also like to uh, make mention of a, a big event coming up on Friday night, October the 22nd, which is the night before homecoming. It will be Bama Blast. Uh, at uh, Bryant Denny Stadium, they're going to have Crystal Gale and the Statler Brothers. It's going to be quite an evening of entertainment, and tickets are on sale for those at that event. Uh, and we'll get you some information, but if you'll look in the papers or just call the athletic department at the university alumni office, they can get you information. But it's going to be quite an evening, I think. Uh, this week, we have a little special thing on the University Feature Coach. We're using some of our athletes starting this week. Oh, well, that's great, Charlie. And uh, in this University Feature, we'll meet Robbie Jones. Robbie is from Demopolis and will tell us something about what it's like to be a student in a high-technology program and athlete at the same time. Petroleum engineering student in the College of Engineering at the University of Alabama. He's also a linebacker for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Nobody's ever given me anything because I'm an athlete, and that's the way I want it. My degree will mean that I've accomplished what other students have accomplished. I've studied hard, and I've learned. And most of the time, my professors don't even know I'm a football player. But on the field, the other team knows Robbie Jones is a football player. Coach Brian has taught us that the best way to feel good about yourself is to bear down for maximum results. I try to apply the same principles to my studies. The College of Engineering is helping me prepare for a career as a professional engineer. I've been impressed with the quality of the faculty and the quality of the students. It's not easy, but it's worth it when I make good grades, and I know I'm closer to achieving my goals. I'm proud to be a student at the University of Alabama for 150 years, Alabama's first university. Ooh, that was very well, Charlie. Sure. And had much coaching on that either. Yeah, oh, Up in front of the camera and the of working at engineering, I was kind of too quiet. Coach, you made the mention just as we went off in the first half, it was 6 nothing, but you didn't feel like that we had scored. I did. I was off there with a six point lead, and know you get beat, you know, you'd be beaten so easily, and they had so many chances and blew them, and we didn't move the ball, and I mean, we moved the ball enough to have some points. But we didn't do the things it takes, and uh, I couldn't help but remember what happened to LSU in the second half, what happened to Georgia Tech in the second half, and 
second half of a while, it looked like it was going to happen again. But fortunately, our people got together and rose up and uh, pulled it out. But I hope we don't wait till that late again. And I hope we can get a little better the second the third quarter than we did in the fourth. What, the second, the middle, and the fourth, right. so on and so forth. And starting out to the third quarter is always very important. And uh, we indeed were not too impressive then, but uh, we'll see it soon. We'll be back to third quarter of action following this message from our sponsors. Enjoy the colors of spring all year round by decorating your table with elegant stoneware from Central Bank. Choose from two exquisite patterns and computer pieces. Combining the gracious, elegant look of fine bone china and the oven, microwave, and dishwasher proof durability of today's stoneware. We're serving up savings. So come by Central and get something extra for yourself. Exquisite stoneware for savers. Another good reason to bank at Central. Member FDIC. Oh, what a gift. A gold potato? I can hardly believe it. You know what that is? What? That's a golden flake potato chip potato. Taste it. Oh, yeah? How else do you think they make them so fresh and crisp and gold and light? Sarge, does this mean we're rich? No, son. It means the arm is rich, and I'm the arm. Golden flake. Good as gold. Second half, they get to receive, and it means that we're going to have the win, and we'll have to be going into the win in the fourth quarter. At the time, I think, and I thought, I still think, we should win the game in the third quarter if we expect to win it. They came out, threw on first down, pushed out of bounds over there, the rest would. I talked about Ray Correll a minute ago. He was an All-American guard for us, because he was from Somerville, Kentucky. I said, I've gotten weak. And he was so quick and so fast. First place, and he couldn't line up. He couldn't teach him how to line up. He looked crooked when he lined up. But he covered kicks better than anyone I've ever seen. That fullback's running pretty well there. Bobby Jones, he just saw it and made the tackle. But he was covered kicks so well that finally people got to put two men on him to hold him up. And we'd change him around. We'd, one week, we'd cover him from left tackle in the first half to right tackle the second and left guard. And he did, I, I forget how many farmers he called on kicks, but he told me I, I wish I got people to see him. It was a good uh, defensive play by Jeremiah Castile breaking up there. Jeremiah Castile, he's one of our captains for the day. He's seen to see out of Bama. He don't get any block in there, and Lee Joy just found it pretty well. I want to wish Ms. Sloan McKinsey that we had an action the other day. I hope he's doing well. I tell Sloan I tried to call her, I don't know how many times. I'll be in touch. Hope you're feeling well, Jimmy. There you go. Nice block then by left halfback. There's yeah, Paul Carew. Cone, Mississippi. Uh, right out of the cone. Summit, Mississippi. Summit. I better get that right. It's Summit Academy. He ran with the football then. The fake. Paul's a big young kid. Doesn't play much. He's been injured most of the time since he's been there. We tried to trap then. We didn't do anything to let him see it almost get. Third and one. Ricky Moore might pick it up. Third and one. Lineback came off and Ricky Moore from Huntsville, sophomore. Here he comes. Don't go out of bounds, Ricky. You wait two twenty. Come back in there and punish some people. Got 15 on the play. I think we're fishing put it away here. Real great play by that man in. He's got the gap on the inside of that tackle. Comes a pass from Paul Carew. Now, this is so open. It looks close there, but it wasn't. I thought it was an easy touchdown. We got in the habit of blinding ourselves, of putting our thumbs together, going away on a pass, and that's bad. I never saw Hudson do that. He put fingers together like Dan Sewood. Going to the field goal now. 46 yard attempt. Open stab in the back. Ray is holding it. He looked in. He kept his head down that time and looked at it. And it's good. So we have nine now. I think we're pretty good shape. But I was wrong as usual. Ted Sanders kicked it off out of bounds again. Out of the end zone, that is. 
Second pitching play on the 20. Dr. Bill Wheeler, another one of my players. He's seen position for Kentucky now. Bobby Jones is on that stop for no gain. They're running straight at us some now. Jeff Wood's going to make it. Play here for loss. Real fine play by Russ Wood. Russ is junior. Good girl, John. Got the ball. I don't get killed, do we? We got about eight on him. We take over now. On the list, back to pass. I think that's a lateral. He threw out Joe Carter. They played very well. Because he was out there every the time the ball was. And straight at him here. Right around with the football. I back to read the power plays. He, he got to teach him to go to him and to him. And I just go up there and plug up the hole. Wally Lewis, he had a band open there. And Wally hit him. But we didn't drive. We had Malcolm was back kicking. Malcolm Simmons from Montgomery. We all ran by there. We good chase. They take over. Real nice pass for them, man. It's been complete. Third man out of the backfield. Man coming out of the backfield. What killed us? In crossing. Man coming out of the backfield. We hang anybody down on the goal line in position two cover, much less cover. Same play for the state side us out here with years ago. As we went crossing in. Jimmy Watts broke up the pass. Jimmy Watts from Pepsi-Cola. I guess the only punt we didn't handle. No, they had one out of bounds, and this was took the Alabama bound. So we take over in good field position again. All of this, back to pass. With the wind, little joy was wide open, but we got it a little too far for him. We had a lot of ifs in the game. If this, if that. Well, Collar going with the football. Wall of this back again. Bill White. Bill White. Bill's a fine little football player. He wasn't open, I don't think so, really. That punch should have been blocked. I pulled back in. I when I'm in up front, didn't touch him. Man, Kevin didn't do anything there either. Grabbing his ankle. Grabbing around the neck like he'd go or something. Real fine play then. That, that pass was perfect. Just lobbed in there, and that big end just kept running. You don't grab him. Reminds me of the orange bowl. We played the best one time. I see Johnny Moulton now with that big tight end there. And real fine play for the defense. They hit him, and Johnny... Have the one leg and hold on. Must weigh about 240. But he at least held on. Another cross pattern that they hit well. And they're going down for score, I believe now. Flying running in. We kind of playing catch him now. Not taking a fight to him. Great at us this time. They move the end around, shifting from side to side, giving us different formations. He's back, gets the rush on. Well, that is gone. He gets the ball off. But I don't know if we're real lucky there. That kid to move his feet instead of just reaching for it, we'd have been in trouble. Back to pass again. The back coming out of the backfield with that. Mike Pitts back there. I think Mike's a fine football player. He's the best pass rusher we have. Another catch in that dead area is a end of the quarter with Alabama 9, Kentucky Zip. Okay, okay, I'll get back to you on Monday. Bye. Smile. It's 5 o'clock. Yeah. And it's Friday. Mm -hmm. Have a nice weekend. Feel good, make me feel good.
That's right. Uh, Kentucky is going to come on in the fourth quarter and actually go ahead of Alabama 10-9. to but after that, uh, Alabama had a couple of good drives, and I think maybe it showed a little spark in the fourth quarter. Well, I think so, Charlie. On the other hand, to be a real brutally frank about it, I benched. The atmosphere when I benched the fourth quarter uh, was not like it used to be. They were putting up a little pep for kind of, I call it, false enthusiasm, like they really believed they were going to do it in the fourth quarter, where I benched normally in the past, and then they knew they were going to do it in the fourth quarter. Of course, they did it in the fourth quarter, but we waited around until it was almost too late. The on penalty won one little mistake on that last dive, and then uh, it parted over. And, but the fourth minute didn't make one, and then, then they should help us. It shows what we can do when we have 11 men out there concentrating on doing their job. It should be real helpful to us, I hope. But anyway, let's get into the fourth right, quarter. Let's go into the fourth happens. quarter of play. I think mean, the first play of the fourth quarter, it took up about 46 seconds on the fourth, fourth down there after they get the kick with the win. I thought they could time out, but I said, well, no, there's no way they can have to they keep them kicking into the win, but they did. So they score and kick off to us, and we fumble it around there. Keep bouncing in front. Real fine running over Joe Carter after he got the football. They had a penalty, Coach, I think, to stop the clock. That's right. Uh, something I knew some of them. But they had college running with the football. Then what they did, they still took about 40 seconds. They still got the still with 25. The yeah, that's good for the win. Ricky Moore on the carry. Ricky played a uh, good lot for him. I could follow him on any play and he'd pull back your head. I excuse this pull again. Pull back quarterback, quarterback, pull back. Oh, who's wrong? One of them trying to take it, other trying to do it, another. That's the center. Now we kick it into the wind. And there's a real strong wind, too. That's one of our guys flat his back. I don't recommend that. Good rush here. Real fine reception with that man. I think we got called for interference on the play. We really have to get the football. We're kind of playing weight on the a little bit now. Give it do this, give it do that. So he's going back in trying to be on somebody. That's the thing to do. Real fine running then. He just threw loose a couple of our people. Went on down. Paul Young, who's the Bob Hope of our squad. I saw him yesterday and his lovely wife. Mike Chris back there rushed. Did you see what happened? And I don't know many passes that can throw very well somebody in their mustache. Pocket this one out of here. What is they call interference on us? Again? Yes, sir. Yeah. So come on down, they're going to give us that man out of the back, third man out thing. That real great play there. Back there, like we mean business. Mike Pitts made the first contact. I think Holman was in on it too, and Randy Edwards. John Elias gave us one big play, and lost. That's this later. But they had a, they had one thing, I don't know where exactly comes here, where they had the uh, illegal man or illegal, they didn't go in the huddle. Well, you have a, man got to be 15 yards, or it can't be a layout thing, yeah. Man coming out of the backfield, now here it comes right now, no it's not this way. Got a sweep here, real fine, the sweep there, nice. Play. Benny Perrin over there, he turned it in. Mm-hmm. Benny is a, se- a senior from Decatur, Alabama. A real easy thing here. He runs his own down there almost for a touchdown. Nobody knew him when he caught the football. Nobody knew him when he lined up, really, to get the position kick. So they're going to ease for score here. I used to grab him after he gets in there. So they go ahead now with this extra point. Young man named Griggs kicked it. His father was John Griggs from Madisonville, Kentucky. Captain of the Kentucky team one year, I've forgotten which. Ten nine, they're kicking off to us now. Now the moment of truth has arrived. How the ends on again, we start on our 20. This stadium is just across about half a mile from where I used to live. It used to be a farm. Go caught out in. Running with the football, they're running behind Vickers and the Kudrak and Steve Mott. 
So here the next play. Hello, Kyler. Now here comes a big, big play. Third and three. Third and three, and look what happens. There's a man who comes under him and grabs his shirt. He not see who it. That's Ken Coley. Real fine running, great running, not fine running, great running by Ken Coley on third Seven down when he had to head. Down. He got penetration there. That turned the man around, man. That wasn't, I don't recommend that. That's what I'm talking about. You got it. All right, now we got third and five. This goes back, goes out, and lays up against somebody. Walter Lewis. Third and five. Walter Lewis spent out this time. He hit Mark Nix for first down. Real fine pass. Down catch with Mark Nix. Come to sweep now. Joe Carter run with the football. Got to run straight at him. Good effort then by Fagan. He had a move in the backfield. I don't believe they call it. It's Carter again. It was third and three play. And third and three. Four for a first He's down. pretty lucky too, I believe. Carter run with the football again. Fagan this time, right? Up the middle, right down the middle of the thing, right ahead. Third side. down and one. He's bought. Joe Carter for the first down. That's fine running then. That's behind Bart Crowd over there then. And that man shoots the gap on us. We get penetration. He's going to have that. Same thing here. Big take coming up. We come the man through from the outside. That should tell us something. Tell me, I better get somebody else in there. It's true. Peter Kim. The jacket had a lot to do with it. Hokum snapped her back. Ray put it down. Peter took the two. So we go ahead to have 12 with two minutes to go. He's trying to kick the ball in the corner now. Terry Sanders is. The wind caught it and held it up in the air. It bounces in there. And Dan Gay. Dan Gay walked on. Uh, we got the ball, so what are we going to do if we go, we go try to run the clock out? We're going to try to make a touchdown, but if it comes down to we get inside the 10 here, you'll see in a minute. Paul Cruz is running with the ball. There's somebody who lobbled around there and didn't block anybody, though. Now we got inside the 10. Paul Cruz again. I think he picks up the first down. And we don't want to get the ball back to them. We don't want to score the fourth down. down. So we score on first down with Fagan running with the football. What we plan to do is keep running at it, and on the last down, run the clock down to five seconds so we wouldn't have to kick off to them. Fagan scores a big one here. Earl big one to come on and get somebody down. There's down hugging. Steve Mott. Joe Adcock. Mike Adcock. Joe Beagle. Mark Kraut. Larry Brown. Well, this is just icing on the cake, but it really puts it out of reach because it gives us nine points. Even have an eight point touchdown while we're still all right. Now we're going to try to kick the ball and make one of their linemen handle it. We run the clock. It looks like you're all about to run for a touchdown there for a minute. Josh Henderson picked him up. Guy Kennison, I'm glad to see that, because I'm sorry I almost didn't put... That's, but keep the clock running, don't let him out of bounds, that's all right, Joe. Robbie Jones. Robbie Jones, and... I'm going to be alive, I'm going to be alive, just back for a fact. 